Hey everyone, so in this video I'm gonna be talking about Wow, a deck that took me a lot of time to consider if I should make a video or not It's with this MLB um, Alfred Hybrid Could be stupid, some people have told me it doesn't work, it's so clunky and inconsistent But it's such a fun deck to play, like it's such a good deck to play It is, this for the people who knows like a certain path to go in a, Like I don't know how can I explain it but when you play a deck, there's a certain way that you, you're supposed to follow and that's the way you're supposed to win. Um, if you, do, For example, if you do that, you would win, I should correct myself. But yeah, this is one of those decks. Um, this is very like, you know, high risk, high reward kind of a deck. Could be slow, but um, it's very fun to play. So yeah, let's just get into it. And yeah, if you guys like this deck, give it a try. Um, let me know how it performs in if you participate in the competition, if you go in the tournament or something. Let me know in the comments how did this deck do because I'm very interested to know because I haven't, you know, participated in a proper tournament because of, you know, what's going on. Um, but yeah, you could try it out on card for area. I have had success so far. So yeah, let's just get into it. For our starter, we're playing um, Alron. Now you could use other starters, but you have to think about it because this this is a deck where you're playing both of the cards. You have Mist or Blaster, and you're also playing Alfred. This card only works on an Alfred. So your starter, you could use it this one, or you could use any like for example, you could use just a normal starter for your um for your gift. Either one is fine. I'm okay with both. I like them both. I've tried them both. How doesn't change the deck that much. Benefit with this one, it does give you an opportunity to, you know, have a shield. But good thing with this one, it will give you an opportunity to fetch an Elro, uh, sorry, a Tarna. Because I'm also playing Tarna in this deck. So, yes, that, that's a good thing with this card because sometimes you can pop off really hard at the end. But, yeah, but you gotta consider you wanna use it for the late game because it has to stay on your field until you ride your alpha. So, in this deck, your main goal is to actually ride MLB and then ride Alpha. But yeah, so think about that before you choose a starter. There are other starters too. That one that came out in the IT's Legend deck, which is completely trash. But because you have the new order, we could consider running it. But consider the options before you play pick a starter. Wow, I'm just going off on a starter. This is how that this is how complex this deck is. Not complex, but like breaky or something. Now, it is MLB Alfred uh, Hybrid, so 4 MLB and um, definitely 4 of the Monarch Sanctuary Alfred. I'm not going for the new one, uh, I'm sorry, not the new one, the old one with the trial deck. I like this one better because I can get my Blaster Blades back. But uh, yeah, so your goal in this deck is to, your first ride has to be your MLB, second ride has to be your Alfred. So on the MLB, you would get, you know, immense amount of markers right you have your three markers already and then you will ride alfred that puts you to four markers but if you are popping off with tarna you can also get your blast bit to five markers and that's your main goal you are supposed to collect because normally we see in the blaster decks you go for the first try stride and then you don't have much of an option there your your blaster blade is not that powerful because you don't have enough amount of markers unless you just pop up with Tarna, you know. But you have to ride Tarna, you have to fetch Tarna. Instead of that, with one MLB, you could have three markers already. Tarna, you need multiple Tarnas to reach that level. But that's why MLB is the reason why you could replace Tarna in this deck and could run as a tech. But yeah, so you're supposed to have three markers with your MLB, and then once you ride your outfit, you will put you to four markers. With Tarna, you may pop off as one because I'm playing one tech Tarna in this deck. You could go for four if you get lucky. So that way you can have already like 40k base or 50k. I guess 50k base if you pop off with Tarna because three markers then will be one with him. It's already 40k uh, and it's like 50k on like normal blaster blade. And then you can give it power. It will get bigger and bigger if you want. So yeah, that's your main goal. You're supposed to ride the MLB on the very first ride and then you can go for your Alfred and finish them off and with the LaRouche and everything. So because that, uh, it's a MLB deck, we have to play four. Start of the deck, Blaster Blade does everything, restanding with the full goals. Now because we're playing, you know, MLB will give you marker advantage. 
Now on the second strike, you should have 50k blaster blade standing on one rear guard. And now you can go pop off a lot. Like you can attack, you can make, you can bring the normal blaster engine in your deck and your blaster blade will attack like four or five times with more than 50k at least. It cannot get, get less than 50k because you will have four markers by that point if you do everything correct. Now for blaster darks, a good right target, very good right target and also MLB reasons. Definitely. Now we are running, we're definitely gonna run for LaRouche because we need those logos on the on the rear guards. But be, be careful with this card, just don't use it blindly. You have to use it once on Alfred. You have to consider your options because some people just pop it off and I'm just like, yo bro, uh, LaRouche doesn't work because you're not on Alfred, right? Unless you stride into an Alfred. But that's the thing. You don't want to try into Alfred. You want to try into Twin, twin Sword to use it as an Alfred as, from Alfred Heart. So be careful for that. Own, just keep it saved in your hand and use it at the end. It's an end game card now. It's a late game card. And as I mentioned, one turn up. That's it. Because sometimes if I have, for example, if my opponent lets my starter be on the field for a while until my end game, you know, I can if I have a count, enough counter blast, I can use him to get Tarna and now I will have around 5 markers so my blaster blade will be 60k at least that's why I run it it's just for those lucky situations basically not much now we're playing 2 over Tempest Sphere because Twin Sword the more face up your cards you have the more the better it gets and definitely I'm running 3 of this boy Pagga definitely important because we need to have our soul charge we need to use all of our cards in the deck and they require a lot of counter blast and the more counter counter blast you have to you know use the better the fogel gets the better the your you know all kind of combos get so definitely pug go and you have enough soul in this deck you don't have to consider anymore because mlb will get you a lot of soul now I'm playing 3 start fodder because I want to have both of these, you know, Alfred and Mid-Scroll Blaster for my late game because I have a certain plan fixed. I need to ride uh, MLB and at the end I need my Alfred. It's, it's not a choice, you have to have it to go about your plans. That's why having Sisyllus helps a lot because you can stride without, you know, having to worry. Now I'm playing 4 of our, you know, sorry, 3 of our Lian and 1 of a normal PG because I can fetch it off with Marin and, you know, block some attack which are very heavy. Now I'm running 12 crits in this deck, so 4 of the Eagle, 10k, 4 of the Stride Fodder, trust me this card, I would say in this deck, this is very important, you have to run this because you need your great trees in your hand. The more option you have, the better it gets because you will need to preserve them in your hand. So, very very important card in this in this particular deck. Now the best card for best crit is this one, Fogo. Makes your blaster blade stand again and again, which is absolutely insane. Like you could be going if you are twin sword now, you at least have 50 to 60k base basically, and then you will have, um, for example, if you have like let's go like you know five or six cards. So it's plus 30k, so you are like 80 to 90k, which is absolutely nuts if you think about it. And that's why MLB is pretty good in this deck. If you could execute your plan properly, you could have six, like 80 to 90k in the Blaster Blade, on the Blaster Blade, or more actually. I have attack with 110k or 120k, I'm not sure. Attack like, you know, four times with the Blaster Blade, so yeah. MLB is very useful if you can get it right and four heal now for our g zone i'm definitely playing two of our against our peace saver still it's a good even though we have a new stride but it's such a great stride too like it is gives you resist so if you're playing against kage or it can fuck they can they can fuck with you with the denial of and shit so pretty good card and i like i like the art too and this one oh boy this is the card is the reason why we are able to you know get our mlb turns off on the first try you can have three markers plus you could get plus one extra critical more power and if you have already grade two or greater you know like three or more grade two or greater units 
Yeah, your opponent will have to guard with, like, it will take a lot of time for them to guard, you know, a lot of efforts for them to guard. So yeah, this card with MLB, pretty nuts. It's pretty good. Now our finisher, um, I play four of Twin Sword, which is, you know, self exploratory will give your grade two's buff, and now you can use your blast plates again and again to attack. I'm playing one Agnos, I don't have Ultima. I don't think so, I need Ultima in this deck, so I'm not using it. I'm playing two of this, just there, I guess. It's pretty good too, like, plus extra drive. I don't know if it's still useful, but just there. Playing one Dismo to protect my Blaster Blades, and two Maron, like really good to fetch, fetch out that um, grade one PG in your deck. And then two of the Assault. But yeah, that was my MLB hybrid with Alfred. Let me know if you guys decide to play this deck and how does it go. For me, it has been working out pretty far. If It's like a one set plan, which if you execute it, it's pretty deadly. But if you can, then you gotta, you gotta think about it. Like you gotta compromise a bit, but you will still be able to win some games. So yeah, that was my deck profile. Hit like if you like it, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.